1000 of years ago when Russia was just forming as one of the greatest cultures in the world, it was the capital of Russia. We arrived of Suzdal. With the population of only 10,000 inhabitants, the entire city center is protected by the UNESCO. It must be beautiful. 60 churches, 50 monasteries on the space of just 15 square kilometers. Hey, I'm looking forward. Really nice wooden pieces around the window and it's not just only in this house but in many houses throughout Suzdal and generally Suzdal is so well looked after this could be a great example to other Russian cities how the mayor of Suzdal in the combination with local inhabitants make this city look great what I mean is even the residential houses when you come here they look after the territory which is nearby them. If you go to other Russian towns, it's not always the case. It's just really pleasant to walk around little streets like this and observe how the people were living maybe 100 years ago and still living on the space of 15 square kilometers it accommodates 60 churches and 50 monasteries now it's early morning local people are just opening the market If you look at the tower, on the watches there are letters because until the 18th century there were not any numbers in Russia and people are using letters for mathematics. There is a Kremlin behind me and Kremlin is not just in Moscow obviously, it's in many Russian towns, mostly old. Kremlin is the fortress fortress which was protected the town from the enemies. We can see very unusual church which made from wooden most churches in Russia made from this stone. Even the modern house has the decorative bits on the fence. This is a private property, but they still so much looking after their houses and the combination of these individual estates make the feeling from the entire city to be magical and museum-like. Road made from stones and again it brings the special feeling to the city. I found another unusual artifact here in Suzdal, the kids ground made from ethnic heroes and animals. I'm coming to the monument of the soldiers which were died in the Second World War. Most of Russians consider the biggest holiday to be the 9th of May. There is something magical to wake up early mornings and go outside and get energized by the sun and by the absence of people it's like the city all to yourself i so much enjoy it get over that laziness in the morning wake up go to shower get outside straight away and then enjoy enjoy the beautiful Suzdal. yay the brown and the blue house same building but different owners Da, 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 da. Like in many Russian cities, yeah. Suzdal is not the exception and here is the Uncle Lenny, the founder of USSR. Over the main road, I decided to go to discover what is it there inside of the courtyard. It seems to be a beautiful view. Yes, indeed. As the city is shaped with hills, there is a beautiful view opens up from the hill just off the road. Sometimes it was to get lost and to see 
what is there of the main road of the beaten track. Beautiful. When is the best time to visit Russia? Anything from May to September because it's sunny and warm. And May is so beautiful because the blossom is everywhere. But indeed, you should also consider coming to Russia in winter, which is completely different. You couldn't pass the another Russian issue, which is alcoholism. This is a big issue and this is completely different video. And guys, if you are enjoying this video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and comment what you would like to see in the next video. I read all the comments, check it out, comment and I will reply to you. Oh. It was the monastery, now it's a museum inside. The size of this fortress is just huge. I'm not gonna go inside the fortress, but I found the way. I'll show you to you what is inside. Sneaky peek! Just some kind of the territory, but I think walking outside is even more picturesque than inside. Look how beautiful is that. Walking by the walls of fortress and observing the beautiful view. We might cross that bridge and go to the other monastery which is not the museum but the open monastery this is even more authentic protective feature of the russian monasteries and fortress and kremlins they were mostly built up on the hill and surrounded by river or the canal this is probably rather a good thing that tourism is quite developed because the quality of life of local people has increased, they got um, more income, whereas before they mostly were working in agricultural sector, growing up tomatoes and cucumbers and selling them around uh, Russia, going to different cities, but now most of them are involved into the travel industry and as you can see there are many People are coming, many tourists, because now it's nine o'clock and most of the people are woke up and you can see yourself how many travelers are here. People are queuing to get into this Paso Efimiv monastery, one of the best secured fortress in Russia at its own time. Coming to the entrance of the female Sviatopokrovsky monastery. It's a monastery which is still working and this is rather the religious object than the museum. Female monks are living inside. They are doing their rituals and praying to the Jesus Christ and other saint people. All the females who are entering the monastery have to hide their hairs and all the people need to wear the appropriate clothing. Today is one of the main Christian celebrations. Today is the Easter in the Orthodox Christianity. How beautiful was the sound of the bells. There was a lady on the tower who was playing. And here by the gates of the monastery we are finishing exploring Suzdal, one of the most beautiful cities in Russia, rich in history and in orthodox um, architectural masterpieces. I would definitely recommend you to come here. It's quite easy to get only uh, one hour and a half from Moscow by train and then another 30 kilometers by bus or taxi. Come spend a night or two here. It's so beautiful. It just in summer is especially nice and now is May. Um, 
I loved it so much and I hope you enjoyed this video guys too and if you did then please hit the like button it ranks my video in the higher results in YouTube and helps me to grow subscribe to my channel because I publish video twice a week about Russia travel different countries videography and healthy lifestyle and please comment what you would like to see in the next video I read all the comments and I reply to them check it out comment something and I will get back to ya Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.